news we've been following for you this morning. A tour bus with the folks on board had to be towed to police headquarters. Uh, they weren't really cooperating with police. Yeah, this was all involving a nine hour long standoff. Danielle Dupuy joining us live from where that bus was towed with some brand new information in this case. Danielle. Well, Bill and Wendy, I'm here at the police training center and just moments ago, all of the occupants have been off taken off of the bus and right now police are searching that tour bus. Joining us this morning is Jennifer Wardlow. Uh, Jennifer, what can you tell us right now? Well, I can tell you this all started last night or early this morning around midnight when our officers made a traffic stop uh, on this tour bus. It was near I-40 in Meridian. Uh, there was evidence, immediate evidence of drug usage uh, on the bus. Uh, obviously, we were able to take the driver into custody right then. Uh, however, the door shut and locked and the officers were not allowed access back into the bus. Basically, all the occupants on the bus were told would not come off of the bus. The decision was made to tow that bus here to our police training facility while officers could get a search warrant, which they did. Uh, obviously, you saw this morning there were several individuals that were taken off of this bus this morning. Everything, thankfully, ended very well peacefully. Uh, we do have several people in custody and we'll have their identities hopefully later today. At this time, do we know who's on the bus? It's our understanding that it's possibly some sort of a musical group, but exactly who that group is. Obviously, it's still the beginning stages of the investigation. We hope to know maybe that answer later today. Do we know how many people were on, inside of the bus? I don't for sure. I know it was several people as you saw them get off. There were a number of people that got off, but I do not have an exact number right now. And I see the police are kind of going through everything from uh, looks like a barbecue to different luggage. Uh, is that kind of the process right now? Right. They're executing, obviously, the search warrant on the bus. They'll be looking through the bus. That's the process. That's where we're at in the process right now. All right, Jennifer, thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. And uh, Bill and Wendy, I can also tell you this, that lawyers for the clients who are were on the tour bus, they're also here. I know some uh, lawyers and I went up and talked to them. They want to confirm who exactly they're representing on the bus, but they do say that they're Oklahoma City based lawyers. They were contacted and their clients were on, indeed on the tour bus. I can also tell you this. Of course, this is unconfirmed, but this is what I saw just watching this entire process. Uh, there was a gentleman here. He had a two chain shirt on. It said two chains on the back of his shirt, and he became quite upset when people were starting to take pictures of some of the people leaving the tour bus. Now, of course, we don't know if it's the rapper group two chains or not, but that's just one thing that I noticed here. So once we get their identities, of course, we'll have that information tonight on the primetime news at nine. Reporting live in Northwest Oklahoma City, Danielle Dupuy, Fox 25 Morning News. Uh, D Danielle, before we let you go, I, I don't know if, if, if Jennifer has, has commented on this at all yet, but given the fact that there ended up being this kind of uh, standoff of sorts, uh, could that in any way uh, exacerbate the charges against the people that were on board, depending upon what is filed? Have you heard anything at this point? Um, no, they haven't really talked about any charges yet. I think the big thing that they were really focusing on was getting that search warrant. So I think right now, once they take them, they're going to get their identities, they're going to book them, and they're going to bring them to jail in just a few moments. We'll kind of know a little bit more about the charges. Very interesting. Very interesting that she saw that gentleman wearing the two chains shirt. I understand two chains was the opening act at the uh, Little Wayne concert here in town. Yeah, Little Wayne playing at the uh, peak last mm -hmm. night. So uh, I don't know. You you were looking at Little Wayne's Twitter account. Yeah, there have been all kinds of reports on Twitter. Of course, police have not confirmed their identities yet, but it seems to be that is the assumption that that is who was on board that bus. The two chains, mm -hmm. two chains. So yeah, all right, we're, we're still waiting on confirmation for yeah. that.